Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have the Goblin, the Wounded Ego with Letting Go. Someone's uh, finally seeing uh, the consequences of their actions here, understanding themselves a bit more, knowing what to release, uh, what to work on. I lost myself for a little while. I am becoming a better person. Yeah, someone's acknowledging uh, the role that they've played in the situation. Okay, taking accountability. Overall energy, five of pentacles. This is about being left out in the cold here. Also longing for more, needing help as well. At a loss. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have Four of Cups, King of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. So if you felt a bit uh, lost lately or lonely, um, it, things are going to change this week, especially within the next week after this. Uh, I do see that uh, things are going to become more balanced here, especially if you've been worried about your finances or things that kind of have come up. It's showing you've had some disappointments, okay, when it's come to people, people that you've trusted or you uh, really thought that they wouldn't do or act a certain way towards you. Uh, but somebody's about to speak up this week, okay? I do see in regards to your person, you feel as if they've rejected uh, you emotionally or have just kind of left this situation in limbo and you're not really focused on that anymore a uh, six of wands fool and the page of pentacles for their energy so this person's wanting to step out of their comfort zone uh, there's something that they realize now that you've made them realize and the fact that they know this, they're seeing you as someone very vital to their life, very special. And they feel like they took you for granted. They didn't see this in the past, but they see this now. Tell them the fool, please. Five of Wands, Two of Swords. Yeah, they also know that their actions, by not making a decision or being fair and honest with you in this connection, has caused a lot of problems and conflict. Uh, they feel as if, you know, they've manipulated things or the energy here. And if they haven't done that, uh, things would be at a better spot now. Tell me the Page of Pentacles. So basically, they created their own chaos and they're finally seeing that. And I see that uh, before they realized that they were blaming you or blaming the connection. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. Let's get some more details here. Seven of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. I see someone taking advantage of the other, okay? Also taking someone for granted. So they saw that you have a lot to give to their life. Uh, you became something that they were attached to that was helping them. Some of you financially here, but definitely for advice or being grounded, you helped them feel better about themselves. Uh, and with the seven of wands here, in return, they gave you this block, right? Very stoic energy, cold, somewhat detached at times. It felt like nothing was ever moving. It was just always going to stay the same energy uh, from the beginning. Tell me the Two of Pentacles. Five of Cups, Knight of Wands. Yes, this became very disappointing to you. Uh, it caused you a lot of emotional stress as well because their behavior was off. And you couldn't understand if they were playing games here or what was the motive, what was driving them. Because in the beginning, it seemed like both of you, there was something special here. You both felt familiar to each other, felt like home. This person got you, you got them on a different level. Uh, no one has. And it seems like this was a match made in heaven. But I see that as it progressed here, time told the fact that this person was not owning up to what they were saying that they felt towards you in the beginning. And they were acting hot and cold and very, uh, you know, detached. The more time that went on, they became more and more detached to where you weren't getting anything from them. And you couldn't figure out what they were up to. And there was a lot of suspicious energy here. 
So let's see what the challenge was. Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Six of Swords. The challenge was is it's stuck in first gear. This connection never progressed to anything more uh, because this person did put a wall up. It's like they're building this dam, and it was very difficult to get through. There was no way. Uh, it would have to come from them. You tried your best, I see, and you were patient with this person. Uh, you did everything that you could. The Ten of Cups. This could be a third party for some, not for everyone, but I see that uh, they felt responsible for other people, okay, and felt bound to that, being able to uh, help and provide. Uh, if it's not a third party, I do see that this person was fighting this intense feeling that they have for you, that they loved you deeply and you did take them off guard. Uh, because in the Four of Wands, they felt like you were somebody that they've never felt like that before. Somebody that felt like home to them and that understood them. And with the Six of Swords, this was never going to get to a peaceful place. It was very chaotic, stuck in first gear, yet uh, always felt like you were just something on the side to them. You never felt important or a priority. Tell me the Ace of Wands, please. Seven of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you kind of asked yourself this question. How long do I have to wait? And I've been waiting for a while now. Am I really going to get what I deserve from this? Everything that I put in, am I going to get out? And you realize that nothing was ever going to change. So I see you here moving on. And uh, mentally, it was what you needed at the time and what was healthiest for you because you couldn't stay stuck in this anymore. It was started to mess with your feelings, your emotions, and give you a lot of anxiety here. Okay, so let's see what action they take this week. And I see in the current moments, you know, they're struggling. They realize, okay, I made this all about me. And I should have been giving equally here. I should have been open and upfront with what I was thinking, how I was feeling, because they realize how they look now to you, and it's not a good look. Judgment, Ace of Cups, and the Page of Wands. We have reconciliation here. But we have a new phase in love beginning. And this will feel very unusual because this connection has never gotten to this point. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys dearly, and I'll see you next time.